Okay, so today we're looking at the Sega Afterburner from 1987, one of Sega's classic games. Um, this is the rather unusual and interesting nice shaped upright cabinet. Um, this is a USA version of the cab. Um, so starting up at the top we've got these two warning lamps which basically flash to tell you that there's uh, aircraft approaching from behind so you can make evasive manoeuvres. And then you've got this lock on lamp here which I'm hoping is going to flash any second, there you go. That tells you when there's an enemy in your target, so you can basically shoot them with the missile. Now, when you're not locked on, a, on an enemy, you can basically press your trigger button to fire like a machine gun type thing. We've got illuminated start button, instruction cards here and here, and we have a throttle to basically allow you to slow down and speed up and pull loop the loop maneuvers and so on. It takes a bit of practice to get used to. Uh, it's like a pedestal shaped cab. These are very heavy cabinets, these. They're very well made, designed not to be able to fall over. Also, the, uh, the throttle handle has like a force feedback mechanism where it will f sort of jolt when you fire a missile, and also when you crash, it will shake around like crazy. Um, just for the purpose of the video, I've actually disabled that, although it is working on this machine. Um, I'll probably put it on in a minute just to do a quick demonstration of it, but it's quite noisy really, so for when I'm having a play of it in the garage, I don't want to have it rattling away, to be honest. Okay, so let's uh, start a game. Okay, let's go car up and see if we can have half a decent game. Get ready! Okay, there's some gameplay. 